Hello everyone, welcome back to another iPhone tutorial. This one, we're in iOS 17, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly use the personal voice feature that just come out, and it's pretty cool. Here we go. So the first step, click on settings like I've just done there. And then when you're in settings, just scroll down and you wanna look for accessibility. Click on accessibility, open that up, and now we're looking for personal voice. It's about two thirds of the way down, three quarters of the way down, click on that, and then presto, we get two options, share across devices, and allow apps to request to use. So I'm going to click on both of those for this tutorial, but just keep in mind you can turn them on or off. Now, the next step is very simple. Click create a personal voice. I'm gonna click on that. And then here you go. It gives you a little bit of a, you know, stay back, give you 15 centimeters away, uh, you know, speak naturally, take your time, blah, blah, blah. But whatever, let's just go through that. Now we're gonna go give your voice a name. I'm just gonna go with the default one. We're gonna click on continue. And now it's gonna do a sound quality check. So what you gotta do is you gotta click on this red dot here and then just speak what you see here. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm creating a personal voice with my iPhone. All right, valid V, okay, well, it's still kind of beta, so there's a small issue there, but it should work for what we're doing here. So I'm gonna click on continue. And then I'm going to read the phrase. Now look up here. There's one of 150 phrases. So it's not like you say five words and then it's got your voice figured out. You got to go through a, very, a maze and like a real gauntlet of different phrases. So I'm going to do the next one and then we're going to call it a day. So do they like chocolate or vanilla ice cream better? All right, that works pretty good. So I'm going to click on done. And it's gone ahead and it started to create the voice. To delete a voice, just click on it like I'm going to do here. And then you can just click on delete voice, export voice, and continue recording. So you don't have to do all 150 at the same time. So there it is. That's how you do it. I'm going to do it again tonight. And then I'll make a video and show you what my voice sounds like according to Apple. Thanks for watching.